Hi, I'm Chad here with DT Swiss. A lot of people call us and ask us what hub they have for service reasons or convertibility reasons. And this is a quick tutorial on how to determine which one you do have. We've made a number of hubs over the years and we're going to start off with our two Paul hub. Our two Paul hub is just that. It is a Paul based hub. It has two Pauls in it and it is not convertible. It was only ever a quick release and you can easily tell that because it will have a threaded axle sticking out with a threaded on lock nut. As soon as you see that, you will know that this is our two Paul hub and it cannot be converted. This hub was also known as the Onyx hub and before that it was known as the Serret hub. Next in the hub lineup, we're going to have the 370 through axle hub. This hub is fully convertible and can accept multiple different free hub bodies for the different standards that are out there. The benefits with this one, it utilizes the same end cap kits as our star ratchet hubs and it's very easy to service and maintain. I'll show you quickly how we can determine this if we don't know that it is a 370 through axle hub. We're going to go over to our vise with our soft jaws because we don't want to mar up the hub end cap if you use the steel jaws. So we have aluminum soft jaws in there. We're going to lock that drive side end cap into the vise and we're going to just quickly pull that hub off of there. That end cap is held on with an o-ring so once it comes off, once you break that o-ring free it comes off very easily. Once that's off you could spin the hub and slightly pull on the free hub body and that will release the free hub body. Very simple hub, uh, pretty much tool free to get in to do service or convertibility. You can tell from here it has three paws, hence the name the three paw hub. Um, that's pretty much it on that one for identification. Putting it back together, we're just going to slide it back together. When you get, when it, when it starts to come together and the paws are going to engage, you don't want to force that. You want to slightly spin it backwards to help those paws engage and then it'll be back together with the end cap. Pop that on and it's ready to go again. So, now that we have our three paw 370 hub identified, we're going to move on to the ratchet hub. The Ratchet Hub has been made for a number of years now and it's had a number of names throughout the years and a number of different models. Uh, currently we make the 180, 240, 350 hub in Star Ratchet platform. With this hub, it will use the same end caps as the 373 Paul and it also is able to do multiple different free hub bodies for the different drivetrain systems that are out there. With this one, we're also going to quickly pull it apart to, to help reveal what is inside the hub. So we're going to go back over to our trusty vise with our soft jaws and once we're going to lock that end cap into the vise again and we're going to do the same exact thing by pulling upward on that, maybe giving it a little bit of a rock to help break that o-ring free. Once that's off you can see there's our end cap and again we're going to just sl slightly pull that off and you expose the ratchets. On this one you could look, tell by there is no three paws, the free hub body does look different and here is your ratchet plates. There's our star ratchet hub. Quite oftentimes, the Star Ratchet hubs will say on the decal um, Ratchet Inside or Star Ratchet. That's another determining factor. But if you don't have those clues, that is your quick tutorial on how to determine which hub you have. If you have any further questions, please visit our website at www.dtswiss.com.